going guys back for some more vampire well we're going to apparently go to a church which is uh quite dangerous considering any cross can burn me and apparently uh random people that walk around with cross sticks can also burn me i imagine there's none of those in a church that would not be a thing right anyway what do we got over here I just okay. It's a new safe house. Yay! Why does it sound like somebody's beating their head on a wall? Well, I don't think there's really anything I can do here. I don't think I have anything to upgrade. Ooh, what's this? Analyze. Oh, Stamina Serum 2. I don't even know how to get the watery brisk. I mean, apparently I have one, but... I have a lot of the watery sturdy blood samples for the health ones, but I don't ever use them, so... It's whatever. I guess in a pinch, I can easily get that 300 health points instantly. In a pinch. But usually I don't need to. Alright, we'll break that up again, why not? We'll break that up again, and then... We'll keep hold of that for now. Alright. Oh, hey guy. Oh, I heard somebody banging on stuff. Ah, frickin' fire. Ow. Only takes me a couple- oh, ow! Get out of here. Nobody likes you anyway. The door can open? Okay. Well, here we go to Sidetrack City again. Both of you. Oh, you're a teleporter. That's a problem. I completely missed that on purpose, I guess. Not really on purpose, but. Oh, whoa! I saw that one behind me out of the corner of my eye. Alright. Fine if I missed, because I got super recove. Something now, I just need to be really broken. Need a recovery for blood and for uh, stamina, and we'll just be completely invincible. All right, I mean, I remember the day where we got attacked, and it was three people, and it was just almost impossible. Now, get attacked and ambushed, and perfectly fine, perfectly fine. I didn't even notice that shilling on the ground. I just saw that there was a prompt to pick something up. Guess we'll see what's inside that building. I mean, why not, right? In we go. Oh, uh, is there a person here? Hello, sir. What? Sorry to disturb you at this hour. Definitely a vampire. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. You are definitely a vampire. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. I will never remember to come back to this dude, but I'm very curious. Does lead me to like a training spot? Where, where am I? Oh boy. Almost in town, actually. I do enjoy looking around, though. It's rather fun. Let's just see what loot we can find laying around. up here. The safe house I was in earlier? 
I think so. Right? Maybe? Or did I just teleport into the safe house? I sure did. Interesting way to get in there. Alright, I think we're going the wrong way now. Yeah, through those barrels. Fuck them. And off did Georgie goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. I'm gonna kick your ass. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Oh, wow, you're ugly. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? You are huge, Jesus. What's up with your Ice hands? Does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon. <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. You look like a big Learn thug. Them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Return then, you big old bitch. Show me what you got. Show me what These you're working with. Mortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. I try my fist in his throat. Oh, I thought you just barrel rolled out of that. How about no? I don't even use my main hand hardly anymore. The real damage comes from my skills. Don't get me wrong, the main hand's cool. And it does have blood ability too, it just doesn't get near as much. I'm definitely not going the right way, I'm just kind of like going towards enemies now because I want to murder people. Oh now. Oh, you caused my cooldown and everything. Oh, that hurt. Goodbye. That hurt a lot. I let them hurt me way too much. That's okay. I can deal. I can deal. Oh, hey, werewolf. Uh, you're a much higher level one, too. Handle this guy over here first. Of course you wouldn't be alone. You never are. Gotcha, bitch. If I play my cards right, I can do very well in a fight. Go handle a vamp here. Or, I mean, a lichen here. Alright, we get a good startle hit. Ouch. Okay. Gotta get my blood back here. Get wrecked on. Definitely hurt me though. Scream over here. All right. There's some low levels. Hey, bro, stop screaming. I don't like it. Here, teleporter. Need that blood. Ah, I missed. Get off me, you big bitch. Block that. Have I been here before? Because these guys were rather low level. Hmm. There's something around here that's special. Any door I can go in, maybe? Or there's a chest over here. Large pill box, okay. Hmm. A wool scarf. Seems important. Is that in my inventory now? Ah, it's right here. Beautiful and warm woolen scarf with a traditional Romanian pattern. I'm sure we have to give that to somebody. 
I don't know why it still shows the widow in distress there. I don't think it was hers, but who knows? Maybe it was. Got a side quest done magically that I don't know who to turn it into. It's fine. That's what we get for exploring. Ah, oh, there's people behind me out there. Oh, no. Oh, they're over there. Are they fighting? Huh. Oh, yeah, I was uh, going this way. And there were people I was killing. Where'd those two people go? Up here. Okay. He's mine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. And then I wasted it again, but that's okay. Hey, stop it. You keep doing that, I'm gonna have to hurt you. I mean, I'm gonna hurt you anyway, but more. Alright, back here. Good old Whitechapel. Let's go to the church. Anger Mr. Vampire Boy. Three big old knocks. It'd be funny if the vampire opened the doors. He'd be the only person that needed a door that big. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to I disturb want you. At in. Such a That's why I knocked. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. You want forgiveness. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't oh, yeah. the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Nope, and any help. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. So you say. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. Probably With wouldn't call me my son if I, uh, told you I was a vampire. Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled. By the loss of this girl, what happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now, and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Did that magically make you feel better? I had to, uh, that was a really quick loading. That just had to happen for no reason. Let me turn around real quick and up loading screen. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. 
It does not concern God at all. Well, since I'm back here anyway, let's go find the uh, salesman and get that last little blue piece he had. Unknown person. This is just Don't be Doctor? shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? A I'm whole not lot of nothing. What you're selling, but I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor, Doctor Reed. All right then, but be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Hmm. All right. Could this be the? Like I just. Could this be a scarf you lost? It is and I just know her. More than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. Ooh, 50 shillings. Good to know. I have failed a hint, apparently. Alright. Cool. Apparently go through going through that quest. Alright. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. Until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't shocker. like you asking questions. Another shocker. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Tell me about it. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. All right. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Sure it isn't. What this do you one know just got a hint. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That will... Goodbye, miss. All right. Stop for a talk. Anyway. Oh yeah. There you are. There you are. Fancy but you never. Right then. Yeah, that one last piece. There we go. All right. Good. Good. Now what, we go back to the hospital maybe? Is that where I need to go? Yep, back to the hospital. Just follow the road. We're just gonna follow the road on back. I don't remember which way he goes back. And it's this way.
Oh, hey, guy. Oh, crap. Ow. That guy hurts a lot. Ow. Ow. Man, just stay right there on top of him. Dummy. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, stop cheating. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Oh, hey, look. You, you fight him. Just pick stuff up while he gets his ass kicked. Or kills him. I don't really care which one he does. Oh, look, he's dead. Oh, okay. Okay, you can just calm right down with that one. From one horrible thing to another. Oh, it's a... What are you doing? That hurt a ton. Are you like a special? Wow, that did a shitload of damage. Like a raged one? Why did you heal so much? Okay, get away. I'm scared of this one. Super, super scared of this one. Oh, everything it does hurts. I missed. Missed my finisher. Oh, my stamina. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. That one made my heart beat. Ran into so many enemies right there. Hadn't even slept or anything. Went through a cutscene. Anything else laying down here? Guess everything respawned after that cutscene. Didn't do a whole lot of damage to him, to be honest. What's up, guys? Uh, I should have known that wasn't gonna hit you. Oh no, you're gonna do your thing, aren't you? Oh well, I'm gonna. Oh. Gotta worry about killing you. Don't care about any of these guys. However, you are gonna piss me off here in a second. All right, got him. I'll tell you that werewolf combo that came down there on me scared me. Excuse me? Ah, oh, it's one of you. Just gonna smack you for some blood back. Hope you don't mind. Why are you floating? Why do you have antlers? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. But you would leave me in a pile this of dead bodies. It's your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. All right. Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. 
Hey, this is what happens. What After you live you so think? long, you just start speaking in random rhymes and riddles. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I'm so glad you gave me such useful information, you blood-antlered reindeer. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. Probably or was not. He just projecting this vision in my mind. Yeah, that's probably a better answer. <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Sure, I don't know why, but sure. Go talk to Edgar. God protect us. You've got a leech Vampire in the hospital. Hunter? Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about. How roaring. do you know I'm a vampire? You why do you have the same haircut as me? Snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Not trying to hide. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. Hey, you wouldn't want to die on him, buddy. He's sitting here cleaning up your blood for this is who knows how long. Bad news. bad news indeed. Uh, yeah, it looks like bad news considering a vampire hunter was just standing in here. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Hmm. Cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty I don't nurse remember her yet. Taking care of the mess. Is that the old lady? I think that was the old lady. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Hmm. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. I don't seem to remember who Mr. Hampton is. Find Sean Hampton at the East End docks. Look at the uh Show him here. People I remember bringing here is Thatcher and Blight. What did I bring here that was Hampton? I honestly cannot remember. You know, I don't know if the old lady was ever on this chart. Interesting. John Hampton. This dude's the pillar of the community. Also, huh? 
Huh. Pillar of the community, and I'm not sure what would happen if I killed him. I was trying not to kill people. But I don't know what to do here. And I bet I can murder him. Okay, so this guy somehow killed the old lady here. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, well, go see what we're gonna do. And Sean Stocks, got it. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oh yeah, let's go look at the old lady's room, because I'm pretty sure that's the one he was talking about dying. I'm curious if I was correct for one, but... Oh god. What on earth happened here? It's a little... it's not everywhere. I like how everybody else is perfectly fine. You know, for her being a vampire, she doesn't help me much with vampiric things. So I gotta go all the way to the docks, which are way down here. Which I know I've been to several times on just sheer searching. Alright, soon enough she'll be able to teleport. Yay! Should be enemies too. Oh, they've definitely leveled up. Alright, well, that's fine. I've leveled up as well. You need to stop with that right now. So we're going this way, which I think is the correct path. Yep. May as well kill this guy because I hate him. Just stop with the burning fireball crap. Oh, uh, you're lucky I missed. It's gonna get a little bit of health off you if you don't mind. Oh, he freaking hit me again. Well, didn't get full health, but that's okay. That's okay. What's up, bud? I think you might have died. You alright over there? No? Okay. Oh, hey, guy. You just sit there and shoot your gun. Oh my god, I'm dead! Oh, that's a lot. I don't know why I even did that there. It's not gonna hit him. Right there, run into it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Can't have two of you doing that on me. Ouchie, sir. Ah! <laughs> 
Goodbye. Nothing over here, huh? Alrighty then. Oh, a trash can. I've yet to find another weapon in quite some time. Uh, I guess I should go up there and handle him. I think I haven't done in quite some time is bite somebody. Let's do it. Or not. Uh, two of you guys, huh? I have a feeling I was going to get hit twice there. Ouch. Okay, we got double gun. We got triple gun action going on. Get all my blood back real quick. Kill you. Alright. Perfectly fine. A little dangerous, but perfectly fine. That train again. Ooh, 17. Oh, missed on that one. Ah, oh, should have known that was going to happen. That did quite a bit of damage, my friend. Kind of hoping that would run into it, but not that stupid, huh? Oh, hey, bud. Go see crazy man. Mark my word. These not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Hmm. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. Oh, yes? You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Who's a vampire? Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. Oh, yes. Well, let's talk to this guy and see how this goes. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton. Vampire Interesting hunter name. extraordinaire and Not made up at all. of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. 
Hmm. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of oh, character. I, I know who he is. I've if talked he to talks him a lot, to you, actually. Then it's fine by me. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to have some kind of mesmer level for that. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. <laughs> I could you make really you tell Sean me. You is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested by a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Alrighty then. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Alright, well, they want me to talk to Tom, I know that. Times like these, a good drink's just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. But... I think we're going to call it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time on Vampire. When we will continue the sad saint of the East End. Until then, see you later.